located in East Stroudsburg, PA, the Tom X has a few mysterious stories on how it was named. One is that an unidentified settler whose name was Tom was killed by Indians on the property. This may or may not attribute to the haunting. The popular belief is that it was a dude ranch owned by a famous cowboy and movie star, Tom Mix. He made 336 films between 1910 and 1935. All but nine were silent. He is Hollywood's first Western megastar. Tragically, he died in a freak car accident when he slammed on his brakes and his metal suitcase flew off the back shelf, striking him in the head. I am here with Ruth Van Wy, the owner of the Tom X Pub, and I understand you're going to tell me about an interesting experience here, correct? Yeah, about um, a year and a half ago, we had a chef that worked for us who, um, one evening it was quiet, he was closing up the kitchen and was carrying a big tray down our stairs to uh, store in the uh, meat lockers downstairs. And as you come down the stairs at the bottom, there is a mirror mounted to a wall. Mm -hmm. And he's coming down the stairs and he's got a big tray in his hand and just as he got to the bottom of the stairs, he happened to look up and could see the reflection of a young child through the mirror. Oh, wow. was playing on the stairs behind him. Oh. And of course, when he turned around to look, there was no one there. Right. And it kind of spooked him. Yeah. And he took off running and went, you know, drop whatever it was he had to, to um, drop off in our, our storage room. And then from then on, he was very reluctant to go downstairs, which could be a bit of a problem because that's where all our storage <laughs> and our is. But uh, yeah, he, he was spooked. It spooked him. He didn't yeah. like it. So yeah. it was uh, very uncomfortable for him. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much for having us here. We're really looking thank forward to coming. investigating, and it should be a really fun night. We're looking forward to it, too. Awesome. Thanks. For coming. Thanks. <laughs>
Who shushed me? Nobody. Nobody. I didn't hear anything. Really? Yeah. I swear, if somebody said shh, I'll have to listen for that. Ask him to do it again. Mark it. What? They probably listen. I'll know where it is. What's that? We should bring Danielle down here tomorrow when she comes back. Okay, that's the baby. What was that? It sounded like somebody threw a pebble or something. Yeah, that did it? Did it hit like the steel? Did anybody do steel box? It sounded like it hit something like on the wall. Actually. Yeah, like, you a, hear like that? a steel box. Mm-hmm. Can I go with my flashlight? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Right. The door is steel. The door. Dave, I'll follow Mike. All right. Interesting. Yeah, it's not like, you were basically like you did ask. Me. No. no, but that was rude, really Tevin, because you said try something even not a, like near us. That was good. What is it? See anything? Oh, well, it's a basement. They probably stuff on the floor. True. What do you do here, Dave? I don't see anything like a. Pebble. It, it sounded like a rock hitting the floor. It did. Off a windshield. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, it sounded like a rock hitting off a windshield. Yeah, but it's going to be very light. You know what? If you can find a little pebble or something, and do it, and I'll let this. Yeah, yeah. Mark, what's that right by the, oh, there, by the wheel? It's a piece of the cast tire. Let's pick it up here and there. Is it art? Yeah. There's two pieces. All right, See, do it. Do one like. light. And I don't think that was I didn't, it. I didn't hear anything bounce on the floor, though. I didn't either, but let me tell you something. All right? And again, this is plastic. This is not a, a rock. But over here, well, I don't know if it would bounce off of there and then hit the insulation that's underneath. So. Throw it against that, though, Mike. I will. That's closer. Yeah, that sounded it, it close. was a higher pitch, like yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Wait a minute, I wanna try something. How about this? How about this? No. No, uh, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like something, like something there that's giving us a cap, like, like listen, I think that's just like it was louder. It was louder. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was good though, Mike, because you yes. said you asked for a sign. You said for, even if they don't want to come around, do something like that, and it did. That's yes. Yeah. Can you go ahead and try to make more lights light up for us, please? I saw you trying to do that. Did you see it, Andrew? I did. No. I did. It was doing it for about 10, 15 seconds. Well, I'll move back a little bit. Go ahead and uh, make those lights light up. Please. There, there it goes. Come on, that's very faint. Get a little closer. There's power sources in this room that you could drain energy from. Batteries in the cameras. Electricity coming off the box. There it goes. Hmm. Come on, make that go to yellow for us. Good try. It seems like it's trying. Mm-hmm. Uh, try to give it all you got. My camera just died. I was wondering what the hell that was. Are you kidding me? It's nope. about to. Was it a full battery? Yep. And what's the capacity on that battery? How many minutes? I mean, like, if it's fully, like, I've been using it to shoot B-roll and stuff. I had about 50 minutes on it. The capacity is, like, 90 minutes. But once we started at 50, we haven't been down here for 50 minutes, though. How long have we been down here? 
control the steady now. Look at See it? See, that's what it did, Ruth. It took the power from his battery. And listen to me. And it's gone in front of there to try to make more lights light up. All right, me and Andrew are ready to go into the ladies' room at Tom X Pub, and I hear this is one of the most active um, spaces in this bar. It's the downstairs ladies' room, so we're going to check it out. All right, let's go. Set the view pot up over here on the uh, the sink. What kind of noise is back in the office? Like what? The creek. Is there? What was that? That noise? Yeah. I heard it. I didn't hear it. It was like almost like a. It was really deep. Right? Yeah. Is there a reason why you stay down here in the bathroom? Or you choose to be in here? Okay, now we've heard stories that this could have possibly been used in the Underground Railroad. So I'm talking to any slave that might be hiding over here by touching any of these things, these lights. They won't hurt you. Maybe we can make it right. Maybe offer some kind of peace offering so that your spirit may fin finally rest. Is there anything we can do? If there is, please come to one of these lights and light it up so that we know that you can hear us. Give us any kind of sign that you're here. Maybe a knock, like this. Maybe knock on that door. Can you touch one of us? Sound like someone was thrown. Sounds what? Sound like someone was thrown. That's what we heard last night. Like a rock. Yeah, that's what we heard last night. That same sound. Should we go check it out? Yeah. Oh, there it is. Look for rocks on the ground. Look for rocks on the ground. What's that? Oh, homie. It sounded pretty big, whatever it was. Maybe it's inside here. You can't see anything. Lights are on in here. With Mike and, and Mark. It sounded like the noise that we heard, which was similar to what we just heard in the bathroom, oh, almost sounded like this. Like a, a when we looked, we searched for anything on the ground. We couldn't find anything. Can someone maybe get find like a small piece of rock? Yeah, and toss it out there and see what it sounds like. 
what we noticed before was that we heard the sound, but we didn't hear wow. like like a a bounce afterwards. No. Now this. Okay. I'm just pointing out the obvious here. But there's a marker on the floor. I mean, it might have been here all day. But let's just see what it sounds like if it were to roll off the table. No, it still bounces. That was up before yesterday. Okay. But right. it still bounces. But we, we, we heard that. Well, we have heard that all the way in the ladies' room. I don't think so. Yeah. say This way, if they were going to slide, yep. they don't fall that way. They go this way, and they can, that can happen. Which one's right? Huh? Those Which? silver ones right there. Oh, right there. In the we always keep them right here. And I was telling them if they're going to fall, they always fall this way, and they hit the floor and they make quite a racket. But in theory, if they were going to slide, they would go this way, and they never do. It's always this way. Like somebody came over and just kind of give them a shove, knocked them over. Everybody who's seen that happen. There are some nights where that can happen two, three times a night. And we put, we leave one over there as well. That one over there will fall over as well, the one by, uh, by the back, uh, front door. Yeah, I know. That's why we're putting that it on fell there. Fell down while we're eating. Yeah. Yeah. Out of the blue, it'll crash to the floor. I was wondering because of the music, the bass. Sometimes Maybe. the bass, because that's there's a speaker here. Yeah, the vibration. Maybe that's it. The um, ice machine in the kitchen, the scoop flies off of that. Thing. Does it? And that doesn't vibrate. And it what? And it doesn't vibrate. Doesn't vibrate. We're trying to make contact with the person persons that like to knock stuff over in here. Can you come forward please? Talk to us.
<laughs> Is that what it was? I heard like a, not so much a scream, kind of like a... But it sounded like raspy, you know what I mean? Like, you know if somebody's voice is really raspy and they breathe in and you hear that rattle? Yes, no? I didn't hear that, I heard almost like a siren kind of screamy thing. So I actually thought it was a siren. Knock one of those trays over for me. If you don't want to come out of the kitchen, you can knock something out over in the kitchen too. I'm sure we'll hear it. I'm just trying to communicate with you. That's all. Is that you? Are you going to knock that tray over for me? Like you told me you would? Thank mm -hmm. you. 